So it's a whole start today morning for you. A closer look this morning at what it really truly means to be happy and how we can all bring more joy into our lives. So it's been the subject of a landmark Harvard study for decades. And this morning we are joined by the director of that study, Dr. Robert Waldinger. And he co-authored a new book. It's called The Good Life, Lessons from the World's Longest Scientific Study of Happiness. Mm. Dr. Waldinger, we're very excited about yes. this this morning because this is the perfect time to have a conversation like this. We're talking three generations, eight decades. So that makes it one of the longest, not longest running study of adult life ever done. What did we glean from the study about what makes a, what makes a good life? We learned that it's relationships, that good, warm relationships with friends, with family, not only make us happy, they actually keep our bodies and our brains healthier as we go through life. And it, I was just looking here, you had more than 1,300 participants um, over the years. Why are relationships so important to our longevity? They are stress regulators. So all of us are stressed every day. Yeah. And it seems that good relationships really help us manage stress. Hmm. And as we know, stress is a big driver of health problems. Mm -hmm. and when, when you say, I'm sorry, but when you say relationships, like are we talking just friendship relationships, familiar relationships, Connection. romantic relationships? All of it. All Connection. of it. Mm. Connections and connections of, of all kinds. The person who makes you your coffee every morning, the <laughs> person who delivers your mail, certainly someone you live with, mm -hmm. uh, but people at work, people in your community. And you talk about some of the, the keystones to finding happiness within a relationship. So go through some of those bullet points. And, and again, these are keystones for all types of relationships. Absolutely. So, for example, being able to be yourself mm -hmm. in a relationship, uh, to be a, being able to say what's really important to you. I saw one here that says security. Security. Feeling like somebody's really got your back. So okay. we asked people in our study, who could you call in the middle of the night if you were sick or scared? Mm -hmm. List everybody you could call. And people could list people who mm -hmm. they could go to. Emotional closeness, shared experiences. And what do you mean by growth? Being able to grow with each other. So if you think about it, in any relationship, there are two people who are constantly changing. That's true. And that means the relationship is mm -hmm. changing. And if you let each other grow and change and adapt w together, the relationship gets stronger mm -hmm. and it lasts a long time. And another keystone is fun also. Oh, yeah. How yeah. important is that? So important, particularly in those relationships that we come to take for granted, to mm -hmm. kind of mix it up mm -hmm. and do something completely different and maybe even a little wacky mm -hmm. to have fun together. Mm -hmm. In addition to being a psychiatrist, we also read that you were a, a Zen priest. I am. What, I what, what, what exactly is that? So Zen is a form of Buddhist practice, sure. uh, Zen meditation, and I practice it, I teach it. It's another way of learning about being alive and being human, mm -hmm. just like my research. Hmm. It's a way to know what it is to, to breathe, to sit still, to look at a flower. Mm -hmm. Is there a correlation or what is the correlation between meditation and happiness? Mm. There are a lot of studies that show that people who meditate have a greater sense of well-being, of groundedness. Mm -hmm. And I can certainly say that it's been that way in my life. Wow. Oh, great. We talked with a Zen priest today. Yes. Yes. We, we did. <laughs> Let's see if that makes us more Zen. It will likely not. I don't know. Uh, the Good Life that was good. is Thank available you. on January Thank 10th. You. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.